A very, he is the definition of solid. Speaking of boring, this is this can be a bit of a grind of a match, uh, depending on the way you play it. Art, uh, no stranger to being willing to grind things out. Guile, both characters uh, have some difficulty generating offense against each other. Um, Warrock, a uh, surprise here to some. Art, I'd say, is one of the strongest players, just mentally, that I've seen in the tournament so far. He's been on the scene for many years and uh, done great things but uh, he's looking particularly on point so far this tournament. I have heard him called the human calculator. <laughs> <laughs> nice. A jump away fierce again, must be blocked high. Uh, if you catch Guile charging down back. Uh, Warwick well, starting this match, honestly looking a little wary of our not wanting to put anything out there. Yep. And again, he's not at a severe life disadvantage at all, but in this matchup, which is one of, uh, can be one of slivers of energy, he is at a uh, moderate disadvantage, especially with Art willing to just grind him down. He's willing to trade that Stan Pierce with the Sonic Boom over and over again. He trades in his favor, and uh, I have no doubt that Art knows that, and he will do it over and over and over. And Art playing really... Uh, I don't know about perfectly, but again, looking at it, look at his spacing adjustment every time. He wants to be in that stand fierce range. Just get there. Dawson falling. There it is. As long as he's in that stand fierce range, he has an answer for everything Guile does. And you know, I have to say one thing though, is that every time I watch Arturo play, he is definitely one of the best spacing players I've ever seen. I've seen so many situations. I, I saw him playing against a Zangief player once. And he always stood at just the right distance for a green hands to miss. I mean, he just measures the distance on the screen so amazingly well. Hart all over him with those perfectly spaced limbs. Kyle, look at Kyle forced to go on the offense here to try and create some interesting mix-ups. He's not a character well equipped to do that. And again, dominating performance here from Hart. You don't want to be up against the human calculator in a match like this with Guile. Takes incredible force of will to try and uh, get this out. Catches him in a back dash. He was in the corner. Oh, nice crumple stun there. There's his opportunity. Nice capitalization. Big combo. This could be something from Warhawk. Jumps away. Oh. I don't like that jump away. Warhawk. Perhaps he was trying to read a teleport. Something going. Yeah. We have uh, some rave lights <laughs> beginning to appear. The While lights. we're between matches here, I want to take the opportunity to update our viewers on uh, where we are in the bracket. Uh, this is top 32 action that we're seeing. So far, we've seen Big Marcus, Wolf Prone, and uh, L.I. Joe eliminated. Banana Ken, RB, Rico Suave, Flo, J.R. Rodriguez, and Lamer Boy all sent into losers. And the, lo and the winner of this will move on, but the loser is actually going to be knocked out of the tournament. We are in the losers bracket here between Warhawk and Arturo. All right, they're just pushing each other. Arturo trying to push him to the distance that he wants him to be at. Arturo actually making a smart choice to land on that sonic boom after he committed to the dive. Let's see what happens with the ultra here. Oh, he just says, get that ultra out of here. No mix-ups for you. Uh, and I think Dalsam punched into the sonic hurricane. Yeah, I thought that looked like a jumping fierce. His limbs extended into the sonic hurricane. Warlock. Only ate one hit of it, though, so not a big deal. The SoCal crowd cheering for Warrock now. And Saban looking a little surprised. Saban, of course, being Arturo. See if he can reset and get his uh, calculations back in order. Ooh, that's a worth a trade for Warrock at that time. It is, but again, you see him barely. Nice adjustment there by Warrock, not getting caught by the jump away fierce that put, made him pay in round one of this match. I like Warrock now. Now he's distancing it a lot better. He is. He's moving out of that standing fierce range and not letting Art just have that position. I, I like the way he's playing this is that he'll stand just in range of standing fierce and then walk backwards and throw a sonic boom so that Art tries to punch him for it and instead hits the sonic boom. Oh, nice play by, by Warrock. And at this point, you know, I think he'd be willing to take that standing fierce trade now. At this point, it, yeah, it would be in his favor. That oh. may hit. Whoa, one hit on the, the Sonic Nick. Hurricane. He nicked him. Oh, and Warlock.
Warhawk, Warhawk takes, takes, game, takes two. game two. After really being dominated, Warhawk, I say right now, has the eye of the tiger, whereas Saban's smiling a little bit and going, oh, yeah, so you know, uh, I'm see a Rose? No. Ops to go for the ro for the rematch. I thought he may have been thinking about switching to Rose. Rose also very strong against uh, Guile. Yeah, a lot of people say, claim that Rose is actually Guile's worst matchup. And I know Arturo's been playing a lot of Rose lately, so this is actually a surprise to me. I also saw Dagger G demolish a Rose. Dagger G, of course, <laughs> another Guile player, demolish a Rose player on the main stage yesterday. Now, you mentioned earlier, uh, as we talk about Rose, that uh, there are some people who, who think, the Japanese, who think that uh, certain characters are better when the Americans don't give it a lot of credit. Rose is one of those characters. They do. They think she may be top tier. Again, surprising play for Moorhawk there, but he said, I need to make something happen. Now, I have heard from a lot of people, a lot of Americans, that they are starting to believe Rose is top tier now. She's extremely solid, but there's no Rose on screen right now. <laughs> it's uh, Guile getting ground down slowly by Saban, who seems to have... Uh, reset his uh, ideas about things and back and back on point. Warhawk seeing if he can figure out he's got 40 seconds left to try to make a mount to come back here. Saban at this point may just try to back, or uh, Warwick at this point may just try to back up and build a little bit of meter. Yeah, I don't like that next EX Sonic round. Boom. I do not like that EX Sonic Boom. I don't either. You should have saved that for the next round. I don't like the attitude of waiting for the next round, but again, I, I can concur in this situation. Uh, <laughs> wait at least until you're in the middle of a combo. Don't just try and chip him out. Oh. Nice drill. You drill is much improved, much faster, not as much delay on landing. Better used to go over fireballs in this game. Wow, gutsy play again by Warhawk. Whoa. Wow, that drill just beat the Razor Kick, it looks like, the Flash Kick. That is actually uh, was Capcom's decision about the Razor Kick, that everything beats it. <laughs> Once the again, Warhawk just using a random Ultra like that. I'm not sure I approve of that strategy. Trying to catch Jumping Fierce, uh, very odd hittable frames on that Jumping yeah. Fierce. It's not easily hit. It may also be that it'll it'll hit once, and as he falls backwards, he'll fall out of it. So yeah. I'm, I'm not sure that I like just throwing it out like that either. And it's match point Arturo, and this is a very Maybe bad situation it. for Warhawk. Smart jump away, but it's not going to be far enough. Dalsim holding at the edge of the screen to prevent Warhawk from jumping further away. Smart play from Art, which is, uh, of course, what he's all about. Warhawk's got to figure something out, or he's going to be eliminated. Coming down to the wire, Arturo is just willing to be patient. Sometimes you're in too much of a rush to drain that last bit of life. Arturo just letting Warhawk come to him and takes care of business. And Warhawk has been eliminated. It was a nice run from Warhawk, uh, a tough draw, possibly one of the worst picks he could have gotten in terms of character matchups and personal play styles. Uh, he put on a good show, uh, put Art on notice.